What up, what up? Winbush here, and I'm back again with another C from tutorial. Now, I was on um, Facebook yesterday. I was actually in this um, Redshift group here, Redshift for, um, C4D Tutos, and I posted up my tutorial I did yesterday doing C foam with X particles. And then um, Sasha here was asking if there's a different method we could use without X particles to get C foam. And then he left the link here so i clicked on the link and it actually takes you to this guy sketchy and on his um his tutorial he's doing it with octane but he has a tutorial here called realistic seafoam so i clicked on that i watched it for a little bit and i saw exactly what he was doing to get this seafoam here he's actually using textures and so i downloaded his texture set that actually he just found free on the internet so he grabbed this texture here, or not even a texture, it's just a photograph here. And he made a normal map and a displacement map and he piped that into Octane. And so I found that I think a better result is just to use the, like I made this into an opacity mat. So I took this in the Photoshop, made a black and white mat out of it. And now I can use that opacity mat there to pipe it into Redshift to get our C foam. Of course, whenever we zoom in really close to it, it's going to get a little bit blocky and that's because it's not pro um, procedurally generated. It's an actual texture. So just keep that in mind whenever we're working a redshift here. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to start off by creating a redshift material. Now I already have my hot 40 plugin attached to a plane. If you want to know how to set this up, make sure you click on yesterday's tutorial. I go through the steps. It's real easy. It takes only a couple of minutes. And so we're just going to jump into getting this shader all set up here for Redshift. So I have a new shader here. I'm going to come over to materials on the left hand side, come down to material blend. And then I'm going to actually make this the base material and my material blend. And I'm going to do my output here and put this into the surface of my output. So now for um, for the tutorial sake, I'm just going to, instead of doing water right off the bat, I'm going to just do plastic. And I'm going to make it just a bluish color. And this is so you can see better how the sea foam is going to react to the material here. So now I'm going to go over and bring in my opacity mat that I created. I'm gonna just drag this into my shader graph and I'm gonna actually create another material. So I'm here on my left hand side, dragging another material and I'm just gonna make this one white and I'm gonna bring reflection all the way down here on the right hand side. So now I'm gonna bring this over to my material blend, make it the layer color one and then I'm gonna use my opacity mat as the blend color one and now if you look on our our um our sphere right here you can see we have all the sea foam on there and it's a little bit shiny so i'm gonna bring the reflection down a little bit like so there we go so now i'm going to put the material on my plane here and then i'm going to go into my render view i'm going to render it see what it looks like So there we go. Now we have sea foam on our ocean bed here. Let me zoom this out a little bit. There we go. So now you have the sea foam texture on our um, our hot 4D here. And if you want, you can come over and bring the length down a tiny bit to like 75%. See what that looks like there. And of course, because it's a texture, if you bring it down too much, you're going to start seeing um, patterns in there. So just keep that in mind. Or if you find your own good texture on the internet that's at a higher resolution, that's even better. But I'm just using what that guy had in his tutorial. So that looks pretty decent there. I also have a dome light on here with a, um, a cloudy texture that I found on HDR Haven. So I'm using this texture here. They're all completely free. So if you want to go and download it, the texture there, or actually I could put this um, file up online for free if you guys want to play around with it. So as you can see, we're already starting to get the pattern lines right here. So I'm just going to take my material 
just bring this back up to 100%. As I was saying, it doesn't look great up close, but it looks good for aerial shots. So now if I go back into my shader graph and I go back to my base material, I can actually use the preset for water. And let's see what that looks like now. So now we're getting a little bit more realistic water in here. If I come down to, I believe it's this transmittance color. So let's make this more of like a sea greenish maybe. No, let's change the refractance, color pick that. See what that does. And I know it was one of these that will give it that greenish look. Maybe not. Take my reflection, make it that. Yeah, there we go. So is the reflection. So now we're starting to get a little bit of the sea foam greenish color in there. I'll bring my reflection down a tad bit. Zoom out. So there you go. That's exactly how you would use that guy's texture map to make in um, your seafoam using just redshift materials. So hopefully that helped out. Like I was saying, you don't want to zoom in too close to it, but if you have like a good aerial shot where you're flying across the ocean, you can use um, like motion blur and stuff like that. This would work, you know, perfectly fine. So hopefully that helped you out. And um, as always, keep creating. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.